Hi, this is Lily Cotilla. Welcome to Edging Life. I'm leaving my last day in Argentina for this year anyway. So I wanted to say goodbye and I love it here. The topic of today is Carpinchu. This is a Carpinchu jacket made of leather that I'm wearing that's actually waterproof. And what's so interesting about this animal is it is the only animal who will die if he, she's not living close to the water. Because for the Carapinchu to be able to eliminate the bladder, he or she must go into the water and urinate in the water. Otherwise, it just is unable to use, well, not like it uses a restroom, but I'm just using the expression. <laughs> in any case, why, my question is, in the medical field, do we not think about this concept in terms of catheters post-surgery and or when someone might need one for other purposes? Also, when you put babies in bathtubs, even if you've just changed the diaper, they will pee. So there's something to do with whether it be the barometric pressure, so to speak, of the inner milieu and the outer milieu of the air in comparison to the water, or transitional epithelial cells make up the bladder. They are the only cells in the body that actually change shape. Your bladder is like a bag and their baroreceptor feedback, kickback arcs, something like this, that send the message to the brain that, hey, I have to pee now, when the cells get really stretched out. The reason why the cells get stretched out is because, again, since the bladder is like a bag, when it fills with urine, the bag or balloon expands and the cells are pushed, you know, from a round state to a thinner, more squamous state. That's why they are called transitional, transitional epithelial cells. So I'm not sure what happens, why this particular animal cannot utilize, cannot extract urine without being in the water. But from a fractal perspective, it's a very, interesting thing I think to keep in mind if you or someone you know a loved one needs a catheterization process because they are no fun to have a tube stuck up the urethra if it is something that can potentially be avoided so why not why not even give it a try I mean if it doesn't work what's the worst that can happen you need a catheter so the carapinchu animal provides leather that is waterproof and perhaps can teach us a lot about our own bodies if we choose to take a look at the similarities among us animal tribes. Bye! Bye! Buenos Aires! I love you!